Welcome back. New at 5 now. Uh, 11 investigates a problem, a collapsing sewer line on this busy South Hills Road there. Take a look at this map behind me right here. We are talking about Baptist Road. That's in Whitehall. It's one of the main roads in that area, right off Route 51. And our Aaron Martin is live on the story right now. Aaron, you learned there's a fight over who is responsible for this. Yeah, David, actually, if you take a look at it right now, there doesn't appear to be a lot of problems with this driveway over in this resident's house or even on Baptist Road here. But when you take a closer look, you see a hole, one that these, this family is telling us has been growing significantly. The biggest issue so far, though, is who is actually responsible for it, something that remains a question. That is right here in this driveway okay. with all the water. For more than a year, Tom Stefano has watched water rise from beneath Baptist Road and down his driveway, causing the front of it to begin to sag and mold to develop in his basement. He's having trouble finding out who is responsible and when it will be fixed. The hole's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Now I got water going down my driveway. I got my driveway that's collapsing at the end. I'm scared to come up my driveway. 11 Investigates took those concerns to Whitehall Borough Manager Jim Leventree, who says this is part of a much bigger problem between the borough and PennDOT. If we're going to start replacing storm sewer pipe on that road, we don't need $150,000. We need millions of dollars to work on this. We don't have it, and I don't know where the state expects us to get it from. Baptist Road is a state road, but Leventree says PennDOT recently started enforcing a law from 1945 that requires boroughs and municipalities to maintain storm water issues beneath state roads. But the law exempts townships from being forced to make similar repairs. Why should Whitehall taxpayers be saddled with these large bills and residents of townships immediately outside the area get off scot free? The PennDOT spokesman says if there's a safety issue connected to drainage on a state road, the agency will fix it and then build the borough. It leaves Stefano in a difficult situation, waiting and wondering if his driveway will collapse before the two sides find an answer. My wife's upset. I'm upset. I'm breaking up now thinking about it, and I can't get anything done. Now this week I also spoke with State Representative Bill Quartz, who told me he's heard similar complaints from West Mifflin Borough as well. He tells me that he's been speaking to lawmakers in Harrisburg, but at this point there's little interest in actually changing the law and potentially adding billions of dollars to PennDOT's budget. Reporting live tonight in Whitehall, Aaron Martin, Channel 11 News.